Hi guys, very good morning all of you. So how are you doing? I hope you are doing good. And today in this session, we are going to discuss scenario based questions. That means nothing but case studies from strategic management chapter four. So what is this chapter? Chapter four is corporate strategies. So before going into these questions, let me tell you one, two important points. Point number one, these case scenario questions, case studies are very, very, very important from exam point of view, very important from exam point of view. Second thing is you should have theory conceptual knowledge of what this particular topic is all about. Point number one, plus you should know how to apply the same. For example, in chapter four, corporate level strategies, what is the thing you have learned? You have learned there are four corporate strategies. They are stability strategy, expansion strategy and uh, retrenchment strategy. Basically, there are three strategies. Any combination of these three is called combination strategy. So stability, expansion, retrenchment, com uh, combination. These are the four strategies, correct? So in this, again, in expansion, there will be so many other things, intensification, diversification in intensification, again, uh, market penetration, market development, product development, and in diversification, again, you have a list of diversifications, backward diversification, forward diversification, concentric diversification, conglomerate diversification, first three are related, last one is unrelated, again, in, you know, uh, vertical integration, you have backward, forward, vertical, horizontal, two integrations are there, in vertical, again, you have backward, forward, all this stuff. So, unless you understand everything, you cannot write answer for this kind of case studies. Similarly, in retrenchment also, internal retrenchment is there, external retrenchment is there. Internal retrenchment is turnaround strategy, external retrenchment is again of two types, divestment or disinvestment strategy and then the last one is what? Liquidation strategy. So, you should have understood all these concepts before answering this kind of case studies. So let us uh, let us uh, go to question number one straight without wasting much time. So chapter four corporate strategies in that case study one. Gautam and Siddhartha, two brothers, are the owners of cloth manufacturing unit located in Faridabad. So what is their present business? They are cloth manufacturers. They are cloth manufacturers okay they are doing well and have substantial surplus funds available within the business congratulations they have a lot of money they have different approaches regarding corporate strategies to be followed to be more competitive and profitable in future in future they want to earn more profits so for that what they have to do gautam is interested in acquiring another industrial unit located in faridabad manufacturing stationary items such as permanent markers notebooks Pencils, sharpeners, envelopes and other office supplies. Oh my God, hold on, hold on, hold on. At present you are cloth manufacturer. Now you want to start manufacturing all office supplies, stationary items and all. This is going to be unrelated diversification. You are thinking of starting a new business which is not having any link with the existing business. This is called what? unrelated diversification technically it is called conglomerate diversification okay on the other hand siddharth another guy siddhartha desires to start another unit to produce ready-made garments is it their existing business no this is also new business but this has some connection with the existing business existing they are manufacturing cloth now second brother is thinking of starting a unit to produce ready-made garment so previously you are manufacturing cloth if at all you start this ready-made garment production then what you need to do you know old business has cloth manufacturing the output of old business will become input for the new business you will send that cloth to this particular new venture and here you will manufacture trousers shirts and other ready-made garments so this is also a new business but related related to the existing business so it is a related diversification so what type of diversification it is do you remember horizontal and vertical two diversifications are there and in vertical diversification what is the meaning of vertical diversification you will stay 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 
on the same supply chain oh my god tan, 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 tan. what is supply chain raw materials you procure raw materials from supplier then you manufacture product and then you send it to the consumer so supply chain is nothing but a connection connecting the dots between the source of materials to the end user source of materials procure it manufacture it distribute it you know manage logistics and then ensure that it is available to the ultimate consumer so in between so many intermediaries can be there who are all the intermediaries intermediaries can be you know your uh, uh, dealers distributors wholesalers retailers etc blah 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 so many will be there so basically this is the vertical chain now you are here in the vertical chain you are here who are you now i am manufacturing cloth now what are you going to do you are going to produce make shirts and pants which is one step moving towards customer one step moving towards customer this is called vertical integration because you are standing on the vertical line and because you are forward you are going towards you are going towards the consumer it is called forward integration it is called forward integration diversification okay so there are two brothers they are doing one existing business what is their existing business cloth manufacturers now they have huge amount of money one brother is saying by jan hum office supplies manufacture karenge pens pencils sharpeners blah 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 so that is unrelated diversification conglomerate diversification another second brother is saying no bhai jan at present we are manufacturing cloth now we'll go one step ahead one step ahead and let us manufacture shirts and pants and then we'll sell it so both of the brothers are speaking about diversification only one brother is speaking about unrelated diversification wherein the new business will not have any loop any link as to the process as to the technology as to the marketing as to the end user no connection at all the new business is disjoined new business is disjoined from the existing business but if the new business has some connection it could be the process it could be the procedure it could be the technology it could be the know how it could be the marketing it could be the logistics any kind of some link is there between old business and new business it is called it is called related related diversification it is called related diversification in unrelated or conglomerate diversification completely disjoint what is the connection between office supplies and cloth manufacturing no connection at all that is unrelated conglomerate diversification discuss the nature of corporate strategies being suggested by two brothers and the risks involved in it this is the question we'll read the answer because analysis is over answer padenge hum gautam wishes to diversify in a business that is underlined not related to their existing line of product and can be termed as underlined it is a conglomerate diversification diversifications are of four types i i what is this vertical what is this horizontal what is the third one concentric what is the fourth one conglomerate first three that means vertical horizontal concentric are related diversifications fourth one conglomerate is unrelated diversification okay he is interested in acquiring another industrial unit located in faridabad manufacturing blah 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 if you look at this three four lines copy paste of the question be smart be smart you have to copy the facts of the question you can put it in the same manner look at this sentence in the answer he is interested in acquiring another industrial unit located in faridabad manufacturing stationary items such as permanent markers notebooks pencils pencil sharpeners envelopes and other office supplies till this you copied till this you copied from your beautiful question and you are putting one tail which is not related to their existing business or existing products so two points are over in conglomerate diversification this is pure theory this is pure theory you should have read this in the chapter in conglomerate diversification the new business our products are disjoined from the existing business in every way 
because it is unrelated diversification in process in technology in function in marketing in know how there is no there is no connection between the new product and the old product conglomerate diversification has no common thread at all between your old business and new business there is no common thread at all this is first brother strategy second brother on the other hand siddhartha seeks to move forward in the chain forward in the chain chain means supply chain this is not gold chain oh my god what is the same chain supply chain so in the supply chain where he wants to move he wants to move one step forward closer to customer if you are going back it is called backward integration if you are going forward it is called forward integration in the chain of existing product by adapting vertical integrated diversification which is forward integration the cloth being manufactured by the existing process can be used as a raw material of garments manufacturing business in such a diversification firm opts to engage in the business that are related to the existing business in vertical integration in vertical integration whether you go backwards whether you go forward there will be a link between your new product and the existing product the firm remains vertically within the same process within the same process and moves moves forward or backward in the chain what what chain it is supply chain okay if you have a doubt about what is supply chain google it dear google tell me what is supply chain in one second google will give you 1.285 million images so we can read from it. it enters specific product or process steps with the intention of making them into new business for the firm okay the characteristic feature what is the characteristic feature of vertically integrated diversification they will stick to the vertical they will not jump out of the vertical so vertical line is there what is this line supply chain line in this supply chain line you will move either one step back or one step forward but you will not jump out of the line this is the characteristic of vertical integration okay the characteristic feature of vertically integrated diversification is that there the firm does not jump outside the product process chain so two approaches are there one guy is saying we'll go for manufacturing office stationery items second brother is saying no by john we will manufacture uh, this ready made garments okay so is there a risk in this two yes because there is a new business there is a risk intensification means growing in the present business without starting new business diversification means starting a new business diversification means starting a new business when you are starting new business obviously risk will be there so both the options both the brothers are speaking about diversification only so there is a risk in both but more risk in conglomerate because you do not have any you know idea of what this new business is so your target customer groups your marketing linkages the technology everything will change if you go to office supplies and now pavan sir what will be the risk if i want to start ready made manufacturing you have some idea about clothes ready made markets and all in the industry you are operating so that is the advantage of this advantage related diversification but the disadvantage is will you be able to focus on the existing business and the new business in same lines or it is something like you know when the second child is born first child is 3 years 4 years old second child is born so mom and dad they tend to shift to new born baby because this is infant days infant now the first child will be disappointed he will be jealous and he might become a problem child because you are not sharing the same love to him that might happen to this new syllabus or old syllabus or new um, uh, product or old product so can you concentrate on your existing business after starting the new business is the question if you cannot do that it is the risk so read both the types of diversifications have their own risk in conglomerate diversification there are no linkages within the customer group marketing functions technology used which is a risk in case of vertical integrated diversification when you are starting this ready made garments manufacturing there is a risk of lack of continued focus on the original business that's all so this is case study 1 shall we see case study 2 now